Today let's see how to create a render which looks like this. You can add some sketches as overlay to explain your design or site context. These will look good in your portfolio, in your presentation sheet, your portfolio cover or even online. Speaking of which, if you end up posting it online, feel free to tag me. This model has three parts, the base, the contour and the container parts. I downloaded the container parts and contour from 3D Warehouse. You can download all the files that I used to create this image. Let's jump straight into the video. Open the SketchUp file. The tricks to create a render which look like a physical model are very straight. Model them like a physical model, detail them like a physical model and apply materials like a physical model. If you look closely, you can see that I have made the edges to look like the edges of a corrugated sheet. It's not necessary we must model everything. This is a technique which I adopted from people using Blender. In Blender, texture plays a major role. We can always learn new things from interdisciplinary fields, in this case software. So yeah, I just added the texture of the sides of the corrugated sheet. And usually when we model a terrain, we want it to be smooth, but here it's the opposite. We want it to be blocky and the individual contours should be visible. If you see in my previously done render, I added the thickness of the foam boards. In order to create this, just give one material for the front and back face and a different one for the other faces but make sure they look like the real life material that we used to make a model. Since I didn't do this model from scratch, it was hard for me to go back and create that effect. So I just started correcting the basic errors like this one which should actually be glass. When you are ready to take it to Lumion, I always save the SketchUp file as version 6 and then import it into Lumion. I forgot where I came across this but I remember from somewhere that saving in SketchUp 6 prevents most of the glitches and errors that happens when importing. I don't know if it's technically true or not but I'm following it regularly. Let's open Lumion. This is the interface we get. In that click on create new then click on the design showcase template. This is specially to showcase our design. The difference is that if you select any other template from here you will get the green and blue tint from the sky and grass in all your reflections. But in this case, since we have a giant light dome surrounding our scene, we won't get any of those unwanted reflections. Select the model and click on the trash icon to delete the existing one. Now click on the place icon and select import to import new SketchUp file. Select the particular file and click open. If you are getting this notification, that means you already have a model in the same name. Rename the model and click OK. Depending on your system speed, Lumion will take its time to load. Click anywhere to place the model. Since the material was water in SketchUp, Lumion gives a default water material. We can change it by clicking on the paint bucket icon and click on go to material library, then indoor glass and select rough glass. I wanted the rough acrylic glass finish for the water body. You can add any color tint by selecting here. Once you are happy with the material, you can click on this tick button. I wanted the model to have this look as if it's done using millboard. So select the standard material and let's load the millboard texture. I created a high quality texture which you would have already downloaded along with the model. The texture will be very heavy. You can crop it and use it if your system is a bit slow. Bring down the colorization, reduce the gloss and reflectivity and reduce the relief according to your need. Relief is nothing but bump map. Adjust the scale so that we don't see the texture tiling. You can also play with the orientation and position of the texture using these options. Go through them and get an understanding what each one controls. Then you can copy and paste the material which you made right now. In order to show slight variation, I increase the colorization a little bit for some surfaces. Let's change the glass to rough glass. And for the deck, I wanted to make it look like it's made of popsicle sticks. So I chose an interior wooden flooring material and increased the scale of it. When I earlier mentioned apply material like a physical model, I didn't mean the texture alone. Keep in mind the scale of the texture. Be careful with this error. 
in SketchUp, the material of the inner face will be glass for whatsoever reason. This will make the faces reflective. You have to change that in SketchUp and re-import it. I had to correct a lot of faces. I also gave separate material for the eye beams which are in different directions so I can have full freedom in applying material. Then I re-imported the model and started applying material for the rest of the spaces. I applied the same millboard texture to the contour also. I increased its scale a bit. I also made some conceptual trees. You can download them too. I started placing them, I scaled them and made few in different proportions. Then I added a curved background on all four sides. After re-importing the model again, I applied a fine wooden material from outdoor materials and I added a green tint to it. Let's move to setting the scenes. Click on the camera icon, delete the existing scene and start setting your favorite shots. Then apply effects like sun and other basic effects. Adjust the sun angle individually for all the shots. Other effects can be copy pasted after working on a single shot. Then add shadow. The brightness here means the brightness of the shadow. I am not touching any other value here. You can apply reflection, global illumination. Feel free to play with these values. Whenever you change a value, click on this window to render the preview. I have provided this effect stack below. You can just load it directly if you want. Once all the basic effects were added, I later added either tilt shift or depth of field. Both work very closely. You can adjust the amount to control the blur amount. The shift value to move the focus point and increase or decrease the sharp area size in tilt shift effect. Depth of field is pretty intuitive. By applying these two effects, you can achieve the macro photography effect. You can make even portrait shots by applying image overlay effect and upload a blackout frame PNG to restrict your render frame. I also added a person cutout in this shot. To do that, open a PNG in Photoshop, apply black and white adjustment layer, then apply levels adjustment layer over it and crank the levels adjustment layer to make it completely black. Then export it as a PNG. Go to convertio.co and convert the PNG into DXF file. You can download the DXF and import it into SketchUp. Make this a face and then place it at the origin. Now import it into Lumion and you can place it wherever you want. You can do the same with any PNG. Once you are happy, hit render and specify where to save the file. Hope you all found something useful in this video. Let me know in the comments what you would like to see next. See you all in the next video.